some of the lower tier teams end up playing against them, yeah. they actually play way worse than they could because there's like that fear factor of playing someone who's at the top of the world rankings and Ooh. Ooh, that's a great <laughs> shot on Dupree. I like the fact that some of the Grealm players aren't really doing that. There's Dick Stacy taking down Glaive and the pistols haven't really worked out for them before they do this time. Face again with a kill. Make it a triple for him in the round. That's a miracle and to do this. That would be incredible. Seven HP, one low HP player. They could line up for him, they do. And Face had low health, so almost trying to take the fight to Wardell, but they're just on the edge of the peak. There's the peak from Wardell. He goes down, Flamey doubles it, bomb in the tunnels, and this is falling apart for Ghost Gaming. Only steal left. Being that Kusta on the B bomb site was so rarely given duels. This time, Flamey, he's not even flashed off of the angle. The first casualty comes from more down. There he is. Great play from Didi and CT spawn. AZ's just gotta kinda come through this and hope and pray. The bomb's getting planted. Ooh. Great kill. He's gonna get a double. AZ spun it in North's favor. Two on two, bomb down. There is 30 seconds left. It's just AZ. That C set 75 looks incredible. He's trying again, looking for a headshot. Oh my god, does he have any more bullets left? No, he's out. He's got to find another weapon. Got to find any pistol. And he's just running for it. He's making as much noise. He knows he's being chased down. There's the AK, and he can recover. Oh my god, he goes for the point AC! He gets the kill! The quad comes through! They might have the lockdown here. Mouseballs could win this round for time, and Rox has already dropped Hobbit, making it a double stun exactly that. Two big frags, and the Molotov to cut off Rox. When he pushes through it, he's burning alive, sitting in the fire, and he's already found one. It's a repeat from the previous round, but this time he's done it. Mir walks into his crosshair and rocks up that will throw Cold Zera and Tarek into the meat grinder. That could be Glocks inbound and an instant gush. They're trying to take down Cold, but he's just going to pop a couple of Oh, no. Taken and Nuki to follow suit. Poor guy, never had a chance. They continue on and Cold Zera gives. No, I'm not. Wow. Three players alive in the previous one. So many available in Army, which is the bombs being planted, but Ethan just continues to look world class. There's so many great shots coming from him. Afford the boss journey longer, they can't afford to stall any longer, and Ethan will find himself another headshot. Make it three and what? quick! And it's not slowing down for anyone, and it's gonna be the full eight. Charles, I cannot see a world in which North wins this. No, definitely not. There's so little time left. They, they have to just run in and get the shots. And you can see the three already setting up a nice firing line. That's a quad kill. All of it in five seconds. And Magus will get the last one. They well, the line up. doesn't really do anything to sip up here. And they're going to go around the corner. Good headshot to open it up with. Device gets one. A little team damage, I think, on top of that. But Ainsley and Valderus can finish what they started. The spam through, not really connecting, not getting the angle with the Deagle. And oh my god, that's a, they're getting dangerously close now. And he's going to have one chance to get the headshot of the great follow up. Ainsley with a quad kill. You can see the high fives coming out. Good. Throwing him first. Let's get the intel. Be the base, as it were. Stewie now is still got that AK. Brilliant first shot to take down Sunny. He's going to have to do a lot more here. They'll be using the smoke perfectly. Just the end of him as he has to allow him to reload now. Oh, that fake completely wrecks Stewie. If he had more bullets in the magazine, he would have picked up the kill onto Tetris. But finally, we'll find snacks anyway. Oscar and Chris J. All that remain. Chris J. is going to get the drop. I say that. It's all on Stewie, leaving Oscar in a one on three. Colzera is going to be the interference player. Oh, there it is. Stewie oh, um, too active in that sort of situation. Two on two. He's trying to bait Colzera in. Take the aggro before they can get to it. But before I can even finish my sentence, Colzera, three more. Rack them up, boys. That's the round over. Can't even get a few words out before. Might be. Otherwise, they are going to see another round. And Stewie will be called upon once more. Tarek's going to have the headshot though, but there goes Sunny. Now Oscar, close range with the ball. Maybe called on to get the final frag. Misses out on that chance, and Tarek goes in. He's already been pulling out kills left, right, and center. And he's put himself in the debate for potentially taking this round. Ooh, a ridiculous watch! And he's landed onto Chris J. Mouse Sports are somehow letting this play. And Tarek's done it! An unreal play! The content king strikes again! Palace needs to come out. Good pick from Excurit. He's got to fall back. That's the bomb, and finally they wrap behind. Running around with Chum. Much needed at this point. DD going to be taken down. Another good pick, by the way. An incredible run, and Device will shut it down. It's going to be a timing, isn't it? We're just rushing it. Okay, shut down. Maybe they think it's going to be a save. Electronic has something to say about that. Low on utility as well. 
That would be huge for those teams. They're in trouble. Rosa instantly with low on health. Can he catch him jumping with a grenade in hand? He does. And now Rosa in time defending. He see it, but people get the kill. And Rosa finishing with the ace clutch of yes, miraculous play. Shot from Ward Elf. Bad Ward Elf, but the only weapon they really have to fight with. Plus two on three. Now one on three. Pitbull, these last couple of rounds, has been lights out. Right? He's so hard to stop. Zeus is going to be going down. Oh my god! That's the bomb as well! Watch out! No! Oh, yes! Are you kidding me? Taking down every single one! Quad kill! Oh, right at the corner. Seek the long driver. No flashback. He's headed up and he's going to continue the streak. A quick triple picking up the AK-47. Wants to come for the quad. He's going to take down s -Tag. That's so beautiful from Lecro. And there's no, no grenades to stop him. He can just continue even with a different rifle. The triple taking down a civilian. What a god! And now Freiburg trying to see if he can challenge it. Smoddy, in fact, finally going to be returning and taking down Rez. Down, and they've picked up the rifles. There's a good shot for Moddy. He is tasked to win this round. They can't let it. IP back in, and Moddy doing the work, getting the headshot there, and now pressuring Lecro. Got one health, has one chance, and he gets the headshot. Ridiculous cut from Moddy, taking it back. And we here on MIPR. They walk into another grenade and glaze kill on Tarek, and then he's back down again. They're coming for him, and he's going to get one more kill. That dropped the bomb to the low ground. He's looking for more triple here for the captain of Astratus, just doing it on his own. I'm not sure he's expecting it. Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, my God. Challenging Pimple as he steps out brave, and he does get a frag and fall back. Absolutely wonderful stuff from him. And he peeks again and takes down Pimple. MSL, how is he maneuvering with balls in his mid? Where's Olaf Meister at the back? He might be shot that he can't get to close the big. Five versus three now. This lead goes to an absolute beast. He's going for it with Nate. Ross is going to take him down. And Nico. Lands the final now! Oh my lord! That helps the force to the shot, he's in trouble as well, but he finds the frag on Electro. Force needs to win that, he does. He's bullets right now, just running it and looking for the kill. He's gonna get one more headshot! Taking down, reloaded! He's just... Oh, oh my god! Just a great job, isn't it? This is Foyzo, he's got the one kill, tapping away and taking down 25 seconds. Maybe they're going to be looking the wrong way, but they're hiding in the corner. Oh, he's oh, no. him going down! How has he done it? Now it's a one-on-one -on -one major. It would be a historic clutch if he could do it. The grenade landing on top, he's down to 50. Oh! He goes down to the hands of MSL. And the flick is time overkill Glade. Simultaneously, they have an incendiary, but that is it. And MSL continues to land. He's not missing majors realistically for us. Nothing! MSL destroys the Scarlet. Resets them. 11 1 win. And now, Nico for a start. Quick one towards the B side. And they are getting melted by the utility. Nico for double Nico. Don't see those every day. And the mic square off as the bike waits for the flank of the army. He will get it, but then. And advantage. He's going to get down to the back of his bed. And Estelle is just going to town. So he probably can't deal with it. But then, and Estelle! No, 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 no! Stockholm 2018! Make some noise for North!